Raid G for general audiences. Respect for Gordon. The engines of the Northwestern Railway were always busy. Thomas puffed to the beaches with happy holiday makers. And Gordon proudly pulled the express. Gordon thought he was the strongest, fastest, and cleanest engine on the whole of the railway. But one thing bothered him. His firebox rattled as it cooled down at night. Gordon knew his rattle stopped the other engines from getting to sleep. That night, Gordon's firebox went click, clunk, click, clunk. Thomas and Percy started to chuckle. Rather Gordon's keeping us all awake, peeped Percy. The only engines keeping other engines awake, huffed Gordon crossly, are little engines with very bad manners. But secretly, he felt rather embarrassed. In the morning, Percy teased Gordon again. Rattlebox is awake at last, he puffed out loud. Gordon ignored Percy. He did not like being called names. I'm the strongest and the best, he told himself. Strongest and best, strongest and best, cleanest and fastest, and pulls the express. He wished the other engines would remember that. Later, Gordon pulled into Knapford Station. Oh look, laughed Emily. Radley Gordon's here. He's putting the Click Clunk Express. This made Gordon very cross indeed, especially because Diesel overheard. I hope your Click Clunk gets better soon, oiled Diesel. <laughs> See you later, Rattler. Gordon was very cross indeed. He decided it was time the other engines learned how to treat him properly. So later, at the water tank, he pulled up ahead of James. James was surprised. At Knapford, Percy had brought Gordon's coaches to his number one platform. Off you go now, Percy, said Gordon. Number one is my platform. Little engines shouldn't hang around. You're a boastful, bossy, big blue boiler, Percy muttered to himself crossly. Later, Gordon told his friends to give a polite toot toot whenever they saw him. But why? asked Thomas. He was very puzzled. Because, huffed Gordon grandly, I'm the strongest and the best. And he steamed away. You can toot at him if you like, reached Emily, but I'm not going to. Gordon steamed across the island. He felt very pleased with himself. He was sure the other engines would forget his clunk click and treat him properly now. He saw Emily coming. He listened for her toot toot. But Emily didn't toot at all. This made Gordon very cross. He was so cross that he didn't see the signal telling him to stop. And he didn't see the goods train ahead until it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Gordon came off the rails. He was covered in gooey red jam. As Gordon waited to be put back on the rails, Percy arrived. Hello Gordon, peeped Percy. I see you're not the cleanest engine anymore. Then, James puffed up. I don't think you'll be part the express for a while, Gordon, joked James. Finally, Thomas arrived. Gordon's a mess, Gordon's a mess, he's the largest and jammiest, puffed Thomas cheekily. At last, Gordon was back on the rails. He felt very foolish indeed. Edward pushed him to the fitter's yard.
Gordon had to stay at the fair's yard for a long time. It was hard to get the jam out of his boiler. Emily and Henry took it in turns to pull the express for him. One evening at Timmer's Sheds, Henry huffed, It's hard work pulling the express. Yes, huffed Emily. Gordon must be very strong to pull the express so fast. I miss Gordon, peeped Percy. I miss having his rattle to go to sleep by. Gordon knew the other engines were pulling the express for him. Thank goodness for Emily and Henry, he thought. I'm sure they're doing a very good job. Finally, Gordon was as good as new. The fitters even managed to fix the rattle in his firebox. That evening, Gordon had something to say. Is it about being the fastest and the best? teased James. Not at all, puffed Gordon. I knew my rattle kept you awake at night and I'm sorry. And I was also sorry about the toot toots. I realize now that engines only toot toot other engines because they work hard and deserve it, not because they asked for it. But we think you do deserve it, Gordon, said Thomas, because you work hard and you are a really useful engine. All the other engines agreed. Now, all the engines greet each other with a cheerful toot toot. For all the hard work they do on Sir Tottenham Hat's railway. <laughs>